Time for another myth-busting episode, and today we're talking about electroculture. So first, let's define what is electroculture. So there are a couple of different methodologies of creating electroculture, but they all involve some type of metal conductor that can gather energy from the sky and then transfer that down to the soil for your plants to use. That way they will actually be more healthy and grow more quickly. And this idea is not a new one. It's actually been around for more than 100 years, but recently it has come back into popularity with the use of social media because there are a lot of people that are always looking for what I would call gimmicky type solutions for growing their plants better. And social media is really good about spreading those things. And I totally understand the appeal of it. I mean, if you can just either make your own type of copper rod or purchase one, stick it down in the soil and your plants will magically start growing more quickly and more healthily, that sounds like a good deal. But is it actually backed in science and does it actually work? Now for something like electroculture, this is actually something that could easily be replicated by science. But when you search the scientific literature, there are no scientists that are really doing large scale experiments with electroculture and having consistent and high quality results with it, which to me puts this firmly into the category of pseudoscience and gimmicks. I'm allergic to scams. Seriously, this is not new. It's been disproven. It's a joke. It's a scam. It's not real. I'm out. The other red flag you should get from electroculture is well, there's actually a few. One is there are a lot of people trying to capitalize on this in order to make money. So you can actually find tons and tons of products all over the internet that people are trying to sell to home gardeners. And there are people even making really kind of crazy looking things that are quite expensive, even attaching crystals to the copper and all sorts of things. The next red flag is that you're not seeing anybody in the large scale agricultural world getting on board with this. Because there's one thing for sure, and that's greenhouse growers and farmers alike are always, always looking for more and better ways to grow their plants more quickly and more healthily. In fact, even more so than university researchers, it's usually the private sector businesses that are pushing the limits of research and development and trying everything they can to get their plants to produce more quickly. Because if a farmer or a greenhouse producer can get that plant to grow from a small plant to sellable size in fewer days, that is more money in their pockets every year. So I promise you, if this were actually making a really good measurable effect on the plants, then farmers and greenhouse growers would be stringing up copper wire all over their fields. Of course, if you would like to do your own experimentation at home, by all means do that because this is once again a very provable and verifiable claim if people can just replicate it in mass. But personally, I think your time would be much better suited just getting your soil more healthy and investigating how to make a better living soil. And also which fertilizers are going to complement your soil the best in order to boost your plants to grow them in the most effective way. And by improving the soil health and fertilizing, both of those techniques have been quantified scientifically over and over and over again. And that's what you will see farmers and greenhouse producers constantly going towards. In other words, use the techniques that have already been proven again and again. And in my opinion, you shouldn't be wasting your time and money on something that I think is rather gimmicky.